good morning and welcome to the 10th and final lecture of the Southeast Asia Lecture Hall. Uh, I am Igusi Bagus Dharma Agastya and I will be moderating today's session. Now we are happy to say that throughout the past year, the Foreign Policy Community of Indonesia or FPCI has successfully convened the Southeast Asia Lecture Hall, which is a series of virtual lectures delivered by prominent academics and experts in their fields to students and lecturers across Southeast Asia. In the span of a year, we have managed to partner with 50 public and private universities across Southeast Asia, namely. Ladies and gentlemen, to deliver the final lecture, we are joined by Professor Dr. Dewi Fortuna Anwar. Professor Dewi is a research professor at the Research Center for Politics at the National Research and Innovation Agency, or BRIN. She also serves as the chairman of the board of directors at the Habibi Center, uh, is a member of the Indonesian Academy of Sciences, AIPI, and is also the co-founder of the Foreign Policy Community of Indonesia, or FPCI. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Agas. It's a pleasure uh, to uh, join this very uh, interesting uh, event, uh, the public lecture. And I'm, 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 this is the last public lecture uh, by FECI uh, to uh, a wide range of uh, uh, students around around the region. So I'm I'm very pleased and very proud uh, to be invited to talk to you uh, about international relations. The first is the United States as the incumbent superpower, the incumbent hegemonic power, but its power is seen to be in relative decline. If you look at the absolute number, it is not in absolute decline. It is in relative decline uh, because at the same time, there is China is on the rise. And, and China, as we have seen, is the only one country that has the, a comprehensive range of power. It is truly capable of challenging the United States. Uh, in all fronts with its economics, finance, military and technology. And this the Soviet Union did not have. The Soviet Union was able to challenge the United States in terms of military power, in terms of technology also, but it was never an economic superpower. It was never a financial superpower. The presence of multi-powers have led to more fluid alliances and partnerships. And cooperation and conflicts uh, take place depending on particular issues. Uh, there are no fixed uh, alliances yet. Although within the uh, Indo-Pacific, uh, we can see that you know uh, the rise of China has also led to new uh, alignment uh, to contain uh, Indonesia. You know, I'm mentioning countries that are all in, 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 in G20. And middle power is highly relevant today because of its potential to restore or at least defend the rule-based order. So with the strategic turbulence happening recently. There's an absence of a credible superpower a hegemon to support multilateralism you know, because uh, not all countries want to follow the United States, not all one countries, not all countries want to follow China and and, and the contestations in the conflicts at, uh, at their first tier uh, level as well as their second tier level uh, leads to a sense of a vacuum you know of real credible international leadership and, and this is a space in which uh, middle powers can also fill. Uh, thank you very much for our very interesting lecture. It's been really structured with clear example. Uh, given Singapore's small size, what do you think are the consequences of Singapore imposing sanctions in Russia uh, over its invasion? All right, uh, good morning. Selamat pagi, uh, uh, very fascinating uh, for me, sort of like an introduction or a revision of uh, revisiting. So, Professor Dewey has provided a very comprehensive uh, analysis of the current state of international relations on a global scale, noting that complexity is going is definitely a defining feature of today's international system. And um, in amidst this complexity, there is reason to believe that. Uh, middle powers actually hold a significant amount of potential 